Welcome to Embedded C. In this video, we will see how the priority and arbitration works in the CAN protocol. This is the second video in CAN protocol tutorial. We have done a separate video for introduction to CAN protocol. If you haven't watched the video, there is a link in the description. You can watch it. Also, a card will appear here. If you want, you can watch that video. Let's move to this video. As we know, CAN is a message based protocol and it is not a address based one. We will understand how the priority works in the CAN protocol. The highest priority ID is lowest number ID that is message ID. We will understand the priority with the example in CAN protocol. For that we can take this canvas for our reference. Here node 1 wants to send a message with message id 0x1a1 and node 3 wants to send a message with message id 0x100 and node 5 wants to send a message with message id 0x21a. So to understand which one will have the highest priority we can refer this binary representation of message ids. So the first one 0x1a1 can be represented as 0010100001 and 0x100 is 001 and the rest is 0 and 0x21a can be represented with 010001 and 1010. We will take the simple can so that the message id is 11 bits here 0x100 is the lowest message id so this one will have the highest priority so node 3 message with 0x100 message id will have the highest priority can nodes can request data that is known as remote transmit request rtr capability we will see csma cdcr in can Carrier sends multiple access and collision detection with collision resolution. What is carrier sense CS? Every node must monitor bus for a period of a non activity, there is no activity before sending a message. multiple access once a period of no activity occurs every node has a equal opportunity to transmit a message collision deduction if two nodes transmits a data at the same time then a collision will occur collision resolution non destructive bitwise arbitration is used in the collision resolution messages remain intact even after collision occurs 
all arbitration takes place without corruption or delay of the highest priority message any message that loses priority in arbitration is automatically transmitted at the next available time requirement dominant zero and recessive one bit states must be defined Dominant wins arbitration over recessive. Each node monitors bus to see if what was said actually appears on the bus. We will understand this with an example. We will take this CAN bus for our reference. In this, node 1 and node 3 want to send a message at the same time. So, which one's message will win? To understand this, we need the message IDs. Node 1's message ID is 101010 and Node 2's message ID is 101110110. We will see the timing diagram of this message transfer for that we can take this node 1 node 2 and the final bus output that is scan bus output so we can consider the start bit sof that is low 0 so all are a 0 and 11 bit message id It is one, one, and this is how it will be transferred. Node 2 losses the arbitration at this end. So, Node 1 will short continue the data transfer. So, the end out bus will have the node one's message ID. So, here node one wins the arbitration and node two loses the arbitration. So, node one's message will go first, then node two message will go if the Buses. We can take this CRO output of uh, two nodes talking at the same time to understand the arbitration. If you have any queries or suggestion, please post it in the comments. If you really like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to get more updates or more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel.